What is going on guys, DBG here, and today we are going to be talking about the Monday content. The first time we've ever gotten like something, well technically new on a Monday I guess, in all of my team. So it's going to be interesting to see if they do bring out anything tomorrow. So, you guys may have seen it, well you guys may not have seen it, the video's not up yet. But basically, in my No Money Spent episode, you can see I've got 311k. I sold everyone. I sold everyone because I was like super packed here to I thought they were going to come out Tuesday. But they actually came out today. So, super packs right here. VC only. Shock. Shock. Absolute shock right there that they're VC only. But let's have a look at the odds. So, there is a 62% chance at a Ruby. So, and a tw there's a 30% chance at an Amethyst. Okay. So, you're guaranteed a Sapphire. One in every... Basically, 9 and 10 packs going to be an Amethyst Ruby. But the 30% Amethyst is going to tank the price of Amethysts. 6% Diamond, less than 2% Pink Diamond. So I just want to see what this has done to the market. Because, like, if you're looking at these packs, like, they have added... So they haven't added any limited edition ones. There's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6... There's only 5 Pink Diamonds. There's only 5 Pink Diamonds, but there are so many Diamonds. You know they have a low chance. These amethysts are going to tank in price. Like, I want to see Kawhi because Kawhi's been super rare. I just want to see based on rarity. How uh, Kawhi's just normal flash. How like many of him there are. So Kawhi just bit like I didn't lose much MT on my guys. I didn't lose much MT at all. So these packs have been out for ten minutes. I just want to see how many there's been in the last ten minutes. So wow. Nobody's opening these packs. Unless guys at like Kawhi are like impossible to get. Wow. I think people just must must not be opening the packs. Okay, Scotties, there's too many Scotties. Okay, Freddy. Surely Freddy's gone down in price. Dude, I think nobody's opening these packs. Like lit like genuinely nobody's opening these packs. These packs remember 10 minutes and there have been three of them up. That's just like a normal 10 minute spell. Or maybe a little bit more. Any extra diamonds, I guess? But like, surely, I was thinking like, I was like, surely, surely packs are going to go down. Doesn't seem like it. it. Does not seem like it. Okay, there are four Isaiah Thompsons put up in the 11 minutes. Okay, that's more Isaiah Thompsons than there normally is. But like, it's weird though, isn't it? Like, these are, in terms of, like, odds and stuff, these are, like, objectively the best packs you can get. They're not that expensive. Like, these packs are better than the guaranteed packs. Like, they're way better odds than the packs we got on Friday. And they're also cheaper. Like, unless you're, if you're buying a 20-pack box, you're buying a 20 packs box. But, like, you're paying 6k less per individual pack. Paying like 30k less per 10 pack, and they're way better odds. Is there still less than 2% chance in digital pack? Yeah. Um. So yeah, like, no one's buying these, and these are. It's funny though, isn't it? Like, people will buy packs on the Friday for t for literally one in 400 odds. But yeah, you're seeing things like this. There's a is a, a severe scarcity. I think who's who have been very very rare. I want to see how many but the Kembe's up. And the Kembe seems to be tanking. One the Kembe, so I'm guessing nobody's pulled at the Kembe out of these packs. Peja, just to check rarity. No way. Like, no pages pulled? Dude, I want to check out any rubies. Theme. Screw it. I'm just going to check the cheap rubies. Theme. Um, Because I'm not just going to get... Okay, rubies that I don't have. Rubies that I don't have. Ruby. Enabled. Let's see what the cheapest one I can get is here. Like, Otis Thorpe. Like, it's just normal cards. The prices are not going down at all of players. Right, yeah. 
This is nuts. What's Donovan Mitchell? Please tell me I didn't make a dumb decision to sell Donovan Mitchell. Like, we'll see in a few hours, but like, normally the first 10 minutes is when we see the most of these cards being pulled. If the prices go up because nobody's opening these packs, it'll be hilarious. Like, I'll have made a dumb decision, but like, making dumb decisions with a reason, I'm cool with. Dude, he's the same. He hasn't... 21k, like, somebody put him down. Somebody put him up. Dude, nobody's opening these packs. Man, will this make 2k? Okay, okay, okay. We've seen three Donovan Mitchells up. Okay, Donovan Mitchell's being undercut right now. Yeah, I think we're going to see that a lot. We're going to see undercutting. So, Donovan Mitchell below 20k. So, he's down like 2k. Um, This is not going to affect diamonds and pink diamonds because they're so rare, I don't think. I genuinely don't think that uh, diamonds and pink diamonds are going to be affected at all by this. I think it's just going to be the like amethyst and lower because they're at a way higher rate. So Josh Smith is the same price he was yesterday. He's actually more expensive than he was yesterday. Mad. Absolutely mad. I think, again, we're going to see Amethyst dropping. Maybe are there a ton of Darius Miles cards up, maybe? Or did they just let you pull all the bad uh, rubies? Like, if they just let you pull all the bad rubies, then what's the freaking point? What is the point? Like, for super packs, the odds should be just even on all cards of ruby or lower tier. He's down a bit. Like, you can see someone undercut it at 6k. But, like, he was, like, 7k yesterday. And he's barely under that. This is the weirdest thing ever. Because this is actually, in fairness, for their time. These are the best odds we've ever seen on super packs. So normally when you're like, you're seeing packs with the best odds, like, packs are never juiced. Don't get me wrong, packs are never juiced. Whether you pull, no matter what you pull, good or bad, there's no winning and losing in pack openings. As soon as you hit this get VC button, you've lost. But, for the addicts out there, these are in fact, this is weird, like, this just shows that it's like, you, no one really buys packs to, say, make MT. A lot of people make the argument, oh, I need to buy packs to like, Make a, I need to make a bunch of MT off packs um, because, well, I don't have time to build up my team. But it's it just shows that people just want the flashy cards because these are, in fact, the best 6% chance of the diamond. These are the best odds we've ever we've had all year by a mile for packs that aren't that expensive. Like, these 20 packs are basically the same as the flash packs. And flash packs had a less than 2% chance of the diamond. Less than 2% chance of the diamond. This is 6% and the odds are the same. And yet, nobody's opening these. So, uh, yeah. I think 2K may need to uh, change up their strategy. 2K may, may need to change up their strategy with super packs because nobody wants them. I just want to see what price these, how cheap these sapphires are. Because Bagley somewhat, has been somewhat rare. So just want to see how many of them there are. Because this will prove it all. Dude, there's two Marvin Bagley's put up since these packs came out. Two! And sapphires are pulled at the well. Sapphires pulled basically the same rate as rubies, and um, um, rubies, amethysts, and sapphires are basically pulled at a one, I'd give or take a couple of percent, a one to one to one ratio. But like, there's been no baglies. Are we kidding? Are we joking right here? Are you joking, two K? Not even joking. You know what? You know what? Like, I'm looking here in shock. But you know what, lads? Two K community. Like, I'm kind of looking at shoppies. I'm like, oh, I planned on buying some players back. Because I thought, you know what, the market's going to crash. But you know what, 2K community? <laughs> Gotta give you guys props for not caving. Gotta give you guys props for not buying VC. A lot of people were crazy enough to pay 300k VC for a damn box, 20-pack box of virtual cards on Friday. And, like, I had very, very low expectations. I mean, I think that might have been an all-time low for a, yeah, 2K have completely... Just said, you know what, we're going to do whatever the hell we do. You guys are just going to accept it. But you know what? Nobody buying these packs. It's not going to crash the market. But you know what? 2K community. Take a bow. And like, even if it, like, it obviously is going to crash the market a little bit. Because enough people are going to open packs. But I mean, there's nowhere near the amount of these packs that are opened as super packs last year. So lads, take a free, if you are someone who opens packs and you decide not to open packs today, 
I wish you had decided to not open. For your own sake, I wish you had decided not to do it on Friday. If you were using one of the days, I wish it was not on Friday. But lads, fair play. Fair play for not caving to 2K. So anyway, that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.